And finally, what does the word utopia mean to you? To me, it means an idyllic way of living. It's a very ideal place, but the reality is not always that. <laughs> um, utopia is the ideal that I think everybody wants to work towards, but everyone's version of utopia is different, and especially, you know, sort of the way things are changing in society and things like that now, I think we're further away from utopia than we ever have been because everybody's got such different ideas and views on, on what's right. What about, last question, utopia, what does that mean to you? Uh, just everything. When the word's mentioned, you just image houses going out into green and children playing within that green. That's no roads, no, yeah. Peace and quiet. Peace, quiet, harmony. Nice. Yeah. It's a very nice definition. Yeah. Thank you. So how did you find out about the Middlefield dig? I uh, found out through my wife, uh, Lucy Pickley, who um, at the time was an involvement officer at ACES Group and was working alongside the university to bring it all into the area. So she invited you along and sort of... She did, yeah. We were, um, she'd come up herself as part of ACES to work on the site and um, she called up and said how much fun everybody was having. So I came up with my two kids and um, brought them up and just spent all what I thought was going to be half an hour. I was there for about four hours. So, yeah, it was a really good day. How long have you been involved with the Cairo project and how did you get involved? I first became involved with Cairo in 2013. Um, they ran a local adult education course called uh, Digging Cairo's Finds, I think it was called. Um, and it was held in a local school. And I went along and was immediately hooked. Can you tell me a little bit about how you found out about the project, the yeah, Middlefield it, project? Um, I'm part of a Facebook, Facebook group for the community centre and mm -hmm. um, it had popped up on the page one day and oh, I looked really interested. So you fancied it straight away? Yes. How yeah. long have you been involved with it? About 18 months. Yeah? You enjoyed it? <clears throat> oh, thoroughly enjoyed it, yeah. What have you enjoyed? Well, just from the start to the finish actually and see, actually seeing it through. Um, we've helped with promoting it. Yes through the school, through leafleting, yeah. putting leaflets up in shops. Yeah. So yeah, it's been quite nice to, something to sink our teeth into and... Yeah, 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 yeah you feel it's really benefited good. the community? Oh, absolutely, yeah, in absolutely. I think it's just brought people together and the way society has gone nowadays, mm -hmm. and people tend to keep themselves to themselves, so it's quite nice on the days of the digs mm -hmm. to see people working together. Mm -hmm. You don't always know your neighbour, do you? No, so, yeah. yeah. What did the, the Middlefield dig mean to you? What do you think was important about it? I think it's important to know what was here before the estate um, because I think a lot of people know about what goes on in the town and around the town centre but it's, it's, it's the wider areas, the villages almost and the, the outskirts of the town that is never really known what's here. I suppose it's different for us. We've lived in the area all, all our lives but I think it's lovely for the youngsters to feel part of the community in which they live.
What does the word heritage mean to you? I think to me it means the, the story of the town and the story of where we live. Um, everybody knows about the old hall and the, the parish church and, and, the, and the, the fact that it was an industrial town. But it's more about the people, yeah. um, learning about what the people were like and what, what they used and, and how they lived is just as important as what they made. So the kind of community kind of heritage. Yeah, the, the community. Yeah, Rather they, than your big old halls. And that's that. right, yeah. yeah that, that's where few people lived, but the, the community is where the masses lived and they were tightly packed in around Gainsborough. What, has, it, has it changed in any way, the way you think about heritage? Heritage has always been sort of like something I'm interested in, mm. um, knowing where you come from, mm. your roots. knowing where we're going and yeah, yeah. So has it changed that for you? Has it no, reinforced it? It's, yeah, yeah, probably reinforced mm. it more than anything. Personally speaking, and I think you'll find that heritage has got a different definition for everybody. I was going to say, yeah, what, what yeah. does it mean to you? For me, I've learned that heritage is not necessarily tangible. It's something that um, is everywhere and it's our, our job, I think, to um, listen to people, talk to people. We have heritage trails as part of Kaya for local heritage trails. And um, yes, you've got the facts, you've got the history, but they're quite sterile without the input of people's memories and, and recollections and possibly photographs. It pads out the history and makes it more accessible, I think, to everybody. So has it made you think differently about the estate up here as having heritage? Yeah, certainly. Um, it's, it's not just a council estate. It's it's an estate that was built for a reason in the first place. And have they achieved the goal they set out originally? I'm, I'm not sure about that, but it's certainly something that we're all working together to, to achieve. So. that kind of, can we bring together the research of the archaeology, the history, together with the community engagement, together with, with widening participation um, in education and widening access um, to universities. Um, for me, it's, it's furthering my education. For other people, it might be a, a talented art or um, anything, but for me, I've chosen to take my education further. I would never have done that had I not had Kaya give me the confidence to do that. In what way or ways do you think the project's been a success then? Um, in so many ways, it's brought so many people together. Like I say, you know, children have been involved and it's something the children will always remember. But even like a year on, they are still asking, you know, can you remember when we did that dig? Can you think of anything negative that happened as a result of the project? Yeah, you stopped me digging too early. I wanted to carry on. <laughs> That's my only negative over it all. Okay, right. What about the big question? What about utopia? Does that have a definition? For me, it is about this idea of perfectness and what that might look like for different sets of people at different times. It varies I think, between people. I think that whoever you ask that question, it would be very subjective. Mm. And for me, utopia is being about being happy in the here and now. And in that project, people were happy mm. whilst they were engaged and doing something, seeing immediate results. So they actually achieved utopia? They, they did achieve utopia, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>